So let's imagine a scenario now that I'm searching for one image that will be placed for the cover album for Josephine. So I have here 57 images. I have already narrowed my selection to my favorite images. So let's just enable this filter. I'm going to the library tool tab and to the filters tool and let's now click on this little circle next to the five stars rating and now my selection was narrowed down to 17 images. So at this point, before I start editing any of these images, I would like to pick two or three my favorite images. And as you can see here, we are looking at some quite similar takes. So these four images are quite similar. The same goes for those three. So to perform our selection further, we can use the very cool Capture One feature, Compare Variant. This feature is especially useful when we are rating or color tagging a series of similar images, as we can see here, for example, and especially so when we are making our final selections. So let's just get back to our viewer. Let's hit Alt, Command and V. So now we have the viewer, we have our browser to the right. So just to remind you, we have displayed the selection of 17 images and we want to pick two or three favorite images. Then next we will start working on that, we'll start editing. So let's go quickly through those images. I quite like this image, so I'm going to set it as a compare variant, which can be done with the keyboard shortcut Shift and Enter. Notice that once the image was set as compare variant, there is this very narrow orange border visible around the image. And if I continue browsing through my images with right arrow on my keyboard, I will be able to compare images in pairs. So the first one remains and I can look at other pictures and decide which one I like the most. So from these horizontal images, I would say that I like this one better. So to change and to now set this image as the compare variant, I need to select it and now hit shift and enter. So now it got changed. Now this image is set as compare variant. And if I continue browsing through my images, I can compare one against the other. So from those horizontal portraits, I would say that maybe this one is even nicer. Let's mark it as select the variant. Let's hit shift and enter. Okay. And I think I will stay with this image. Let's just go quickly through the rest. Yes, definitely. So this is the first of my picked images from this photo shoot. So I'm going to assign it a very quickly keyword. So let's move over to the metadata tool, tap to the keywords tool and let's assign a keyword pick. So I'm going to add the keyword and let's continue browsing. So I have selected one from those horizontal images. Let's now take a look at those vertical ones. So let's maybe set, let's say this one as the compare variant. So having selected the vertical image, I'm hitting shift and enter. And that way I can compare the first one against other shots. Remember that you can compare against horizontal as well, because you can crop them later on. One more very useful tip when you are working with images in pairs. So let's pick another vertical one. Let's say this one. And if you would like to zoom in on both of them, just remember to press and hold the shift key. So that way you will be able to zoom in and to pan at the same time. So I'm having the shift key pressed and I'm pressing now the space key on my keyboard and I can zoom in, I can pan around with two images at the same time. If I want to focus just on one of them, I need to keep pressing the space key and I just release the shift. Once you have finished your selection, simply move over to image and from here, select clear compare. 
So I don't want to go through all this photo shoot. I just want to show you the idea behind this workflow. So once you have your pre-selected images, you can go to the filters tool, you can go to keywords, and I have two images marked with the keyword pick. Here I have these two images. They were selected at the same time. That's why I have assigned the keyword to all of them. But let's say these two are my favorite images from this photo shoot and I'm going to edit them. And now I can very quickly create a smart album that will contain my selected images. So let's move over to session albums. Let's add here smart album and let's set as criterion keywords. So let's pick keywords and here the keyword should contain the keyword pick. So once this is done and okay, let's just call it cover because in this smart album, I will have images that are my favorite picks. And once I finish editing them, I will take one of these as my cover image. Let's move over now to the last video in this chapter. In the last video, we will be covering working with different variants of the same image before we finish this chapter. And the next chapter will focus on editing images. So for the moment, let's jump over to the next video and let's talk about variants. See you there.